Hi, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio, and in this video, we're going to have a look at Carbonite, and we are especially going to look at Carbonite's online backup process and whether everything works flawlessly and as advertised. So after you have downloaded the software, you can do a right click on the Carbonite setup, and then a wizard is going to pop up. And as with all the other online backup services, you need admin rights to perform the installation and to perform a successful backup afterwards. So let's have a look at the wizard and see whether it is easy to use and whether it does its job. So first we have to agree to a Carbonite user license agreement. I can just agree here and I will install the software. This is pretty fast and this shouldn't be any problem for you if you have installed software previously. I will fast forward the video here, but the whole process shouldn't take longer than two minutes or so. Okay, so let's start the client going into the um, start menu here, and we're going to start the Carbonite Info Center to see how we can perform our first backup, because the first backup is always the most important backup. It is going to take a longer time um, because, well, depending on your data you have, because it's the first backup and you have to shovel all, all the data onto a Carbonite server. So here you can give your computer a nickname and I'm going to name it a VM because it is, it is my virtual machine. And you can here also select whether it is a desktop or a laptop uh, machine. So um, with a click on next, uh, Carbonite is going to start the backup engine which will also analyze your data that you want to back up. And in the next step, we can select all that. So you have in the first step, the option to choose between automatic backup and advanced backup. Automatic backup will automatically select the files um, in your Windows library folders. So video files, music files, and so on to backup. But I want to uh, select the advanced option because I want to back up my test files only to be able to compare other services. And this test folder is one gigabyte in size. So I have to exclude again um, the default online backup selection and uh, select my, um, my files manually here. And Carbonite works very easy. You just have to make a right click on a folder or, or a file and then select in the menu to back it up with Carbonite. And I, I plan to do just that. So, and here is another option that we have to select. Do we want to back up our files continuously, meaning that every time you change a file, Carbonite automatically backs it up? Or do you want to create an online backup schedule if your files don't change that much? I can highly recommend using the um, continuous backup because you're certainly going to forget about that. And then you change a file and it's not backed up and then your hard drive fails and then you're going to lose everything. So better do the continuous backup because it doesn't eat so much system resources as you might think. The next step is a very important step because you can select your private encryption key and this might um, confuse some people. What is a private encryption key? Well, a private encryption key adds another security layer to your backups because if you have a private encryption key, you encrypt your files locally on your machine and nobody will be able to access your file without this private encryption key. For this video and for uh, purposes of speed, I will just uh, skip that and will not select a private encryption key, but I can highly recommend you doing so because if you select a private encryption key, nobody else can access your data, not even Carbonite. So you have to store that key into a very safe location and never lose it because if you lose it, you are not going to be able to access your data anymore, period. As you can see, the wizard is pretty easy to use. Um, however, the next step confused me a little bit because I selected that I didn't want to Carbonite to automatically back up my files. And now it tells me, well, it's going to back up all the all the videos and all the documents. And I, I didn't want that. So I couldn't find any option to unselect uh, those files. Probably this is a security measure for users um, that are not quite familiar with online backup. Um, and this is certainly very helpful, but for me, well, this wasn't the case here. And also what is very important is that Carbonite will not backup files that are larger than four gigabyte or external hard drives. For that to work, um, you need um, the Home Plus or Home Premier version of Carbonite. So despite not um, having the backup selection I wanted, I just uh, click on start the backup that we can continue here. And... Um, 
Now you are in the overview of your backup and Carbonite will analyze your files and tell you exactly um, how much gigabyte uh, you have to back up and more or less how long this will take. And on average, you can back up three to four gigabyte per day. And this obviously depends on your internet connection. If you have a fast internet connection, this couldn't be even uh, faster than the four gigabyte per day. But let's dig a little deeper into Carbonite and have a look at the settings menu that you have on the right hand side of the info center. And you can see you have several schedule options. You could say, okay, I want to back up continuously, which backs up all the files uh, whenever you change them. Or you can also say you do not want to have a backup during certain hours. For example, you know that at 10 a.m. in the morning, you always convert uh, videos and this um, eats up a lot of system resources and therefore you could deactivate um, Carbonite to back up your files to save those resources. Also, um, you can see below in the options that the dots, the colored dots indicate which files are uh, backed up or which are about to be backed up by Carbonite. And also you can reduce Carbonite's internet usage if you have uh, a slow internet connection, for example. So you can see there are no really advanced scheduling options or difficult menus. It is very easy to use and um, it is actually for the backup beginner for the hassle free backup. And this is what I like. I don't have to think a lot about my backups. I just keep my data safe. And here um, you can, for example, see how those dots look like and how you can set a file for backup. So you just click on a right. You just do a right click on a folder or a file and go to the Carbonite menu and you can see, OK, this file is pending for backup. If there wasn't this orange dot, you could just say, OK, I want to back up this folder with Carbonite and that's it. But let's see now how fast um, Carbonite's online backup really is. And I will pause the video here and come back to you with the result. How long it took to back up those uh, 13 gigabytes I have here? And wow, I can say Carbonite is really fast. It took uh, under an hour for one gigabyte. So all in all, it didn't take longer than 12 hours. So around a day to back up uh, 13, th almost 14 gigabytes. So I'm very happy with uh, the overall result and velocity of Carbonite online backup. And well, in the next video, we are going to see how the restore process works. So does Carbonite really restore all of our files correctly? And how fast is the restore process? I'm going to review that in the next video and I hope you join me. So if you like this video, please give it your like and recommend it to your friends and family on YouTube and always do a backup. See you in the next video. Bye bye.